What's up guys, my name is Justin and welcome back to my channel where we make little changes with huge impacts on our lives. Today I have a really fun challenge to really help push a lot of people outside their comfort zone. If you were new here, what I like to do is every single Monday I come to you with a challenge that you can do throughout the week to help you improve your life. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you're not entirely sure what these challenges are all about, I am gonna go ahead and cue a flashback from my previous video. I personally love Monday. Monday is the day that sets the tone for the rest of your week. Honestly, it can make or break your week. I encourage you to start your week out with a bang, and this is where these weekly challenges are going to come into play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna challenge you to focus on one specific area of your life for the entire week, and then I want you to report back to me on my video next Monday. When it comes to personal growth, a lot of people tend to go all in and they try to change every single aspect of their life overnight. And I'm sorry, but it doesn't work like that. Personal growth takes time, a lot of time. If you saw last week's video and you decided to take on the weekly challenge, what I want you to do is comment down below, done. So I wanna ask you a question. When was the last time you gave somebody a compliment? Do you remember how that made you feel personally? Do you remember how the other person reacted to your compliment? For a lot of people, giving somebody a compliment is actually pretty tough and it makes them feel really uncomfortable. We often express gratitude or thanks when somebody does a good job, but when was the last time you gave somebody a compliment for who they really are? Any time of the year is a great time to practice this challenge, but this, this time of year, the holiday season, it is a great way to combat stress or overwhelm you may experience this time of year. Compliments help boost the self-esteem of both you and the person you are giving the compliment to, especially if it is your significant other. And for a lot of people, giving a genuine compliment can be pretty tough at first. But when you really take the time to start focusing on the things you like about the people around you, giving a compliment will become a lot easier over time. And the best part about it is, you will simply start noticing the nice things about people, the things that you actually like, and instead of focusing on the negative aspects of everybody. And which is great because it forces you to start paying more attention to the details and focusing on what you like about people. For a lot of people, we tend to focus on the aspects of people that kind of bug us or drive us crazy and annoy us. And a lot of times we tend to focus on how something that they might be doing, how negatively that impacts us. But when you start using fresh eyes to really focus on the positive features of everybody, their positive features really start to pop. And the best part about this challenge is the compliments you give, they don't always have to be these huge, elaborate compliments. Even just complimenting a friend on their shirt or tie, or complimenting your wife on how nice her hair looks that day, or by letting your wife know how happy it is to see her smile. The practice of giving a genuine compliment will help you connect to more people and build better relationships over time. And it might seem scary to approach people and approach strangers on the street and give them a genuine compliment. When you practice giving compliments over and over, the process will become a lot easier and it will become more natural over time. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about all the people that you see throughout the day. The lady at the grocery store, the guy at the gas station, a coworker, your wife, your kids, your in-laws. And I want you to start looking at them through a different lens and start focusing on their positive features and just give them a genuine compliment. What do you think would happen in your daily life if every time you saw somebody, you focused on one positive feature and gave them a compliment? The best part about it is, is you can use compliments as a form of gift to that person without any expectations of anything in return. And not only do compliments feel good to give, but they also have a lot of other beneficial features as well. It will help you push outside of your social comfort zone. It will bring you closer to the people in your life and closer to those strangers. It will increase the likelihood of people being nicer to you. And like I said before, it'll boost the confidence and self-esteem for both you and the person you're giving the compliment to. So today and for the rest of the week, I challenge you to give genuine compliments to at least five people throughout your day. And one of those compliments I want to be to the special lady in your life or the special guy in your life. 
If you accept the challenge, what I want you to do is I want you to comment down in the comment section below, challenge accepted. And what I want you to do is I want you to focus on what happens throughout the week when you take on this challenge. And if you are somebody that is an overachiever, then for sure go above and beyond the five compliments, but at least a minimum of five compliments a day for the rest of the week. And then next week, what I want you to do is come back to my Monday video. What I want you to do is I want you to comment in the comment section below, done. So that way I know you took on the challenge. And I know you can do this challenge because you are awesome. And there is your first compliment to start your day. So as always, let's keep growing. We often express gratitude or thanks for a walk. <clears throat> we often expect. <laughs> we often expect. <sighs> Any time of year is a great time to practice this ch this challenge. Any. <laughs>